So here we are again. We're driving down to a chocolate factory. My chocolate wife. Chocolate boutique. It's, it's my birthday. It's a chocolate boutique. It's her birthday. And we are filming because what we're doing right now is we are committing to filming a hundred videos in the next 72 hours to change our life, to change our business. This is my commitment to my baby. This is her birthday present is I'm going to commit to busting my tail and doing whatever it takes to get to where we the reason why we even got involved in, in doing the internet things that we're doing. So the point of this video is to help you guys to grow in your responsibility, to grow in your own accountability. Okay, here's the situation, all right? First of all, I just wanna share with you, biblically, uh, th uh, biblically speaking, okay, is is making more money a bad thing, okay? Uh, there's a guy that was in the Bible and, you know, he said he did all these things. When he came to Jesus, he's like, good teacher, show me what to do. I've done all these things since I was younger. What do I need to do? And Jesus says, okay, I want you to sell everything you have. He's a rich guy. Sell everything you have. Go give it to the poor and then come follow me. And the guy walked away sad. And so what happens is, that story passes on down generations and generations of people and we hear oh money is bad greed is i mean well greed is bad but money is bad and making good money is bad okay here's the here's the deal if i went out to every single person in the church and be like hey man you're making two hundred thousand you're making a hundred thousand you're making sixty thousand that's just wrong man like what are you doing like why don't you work part-time and give the rest of your time to god you're making twenty thousand or thirty thousand you should be fine like the rest of these folks that are dead broke over here no that's not right so why does it make why why is it a big deal if you're talking maybe it's because they don't talk about money I don't know what what do you think what do you think baby what do you think <laughs> um, I'm not really sure I've had to think about this a few times but uh, I'm not really sure if uh, it's because in that specific specific scripture is talking about money so everybody always just assumes money is bad money is evil but we have to make a, a living and there are scriptures that talk about like you know working for your food working for you know what you have and so I think that it's it's the mindset it's the heart behind it of are you what why are you trying to attain wealth like what is it what's the root reason of why you're going after the money or are you going after money or are you going after um, a way of helping other people a way of serving churches a way of um, giving money to needy people or or organizations that need it like what what's the heart behind it I guess is what I'm trying to say so responsibility factor number one you want to understand what you're trying to do what's the core and the reason of what you're doing because if what you're doing is not aligned with your core values then yeah it can be greedy it could be because maybe it's for significance maybe it's for uh, so that you can gain uh, wealth or something it's success you know maybe it's about prestige and and selfish ambition you know if the core reason for why you're getting money is incorrect then you got to change the reason why that you're going for the money it's not about what it's not money isn't the issue it's the reason why okay that's the big picture that Jesus was trying to get to it's the heart of the matter if that guy was not going after money for any other reason except for to please God or to help other people or even just to take care of his family he wouldn't have walked away sad he would have been like oh yeah man like yeah I'll give it up I mean if, if you really want me to do that I'm let's do it you know I, I are you sure like do you think I should hurt my family you know like I don't want to hurt my family if you don't want but if you want me to I'm, I'm there I, I just want to follow you I want to walk with you I'm there with you but because his motivating factor was such a big deal he might not have he didn't even think of asking the questions he just walked away sad so where is your heart when it comes to money that's the first and foremost thing continue on to the next video or in the next video We'll share with you a little bit more about how to take responsibility in your life when it comes to money. Take care. Bye.